I'll just Hello, I'll wait for you. Oh, oh, you're doing it now. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, we're going live. Hi, everybody. We are 17 minutes late because we're fucking. Yeah. Ourselves. Welcome to the last watch along that we were like, oh, we got this cool link. We're just going to send it to everyone. And uh, yeah, it it's, doesn't uh, work as Amazon. advertised. <laughs> it, it's only has issues with Amazon. I feel like Amazon is the problem. Uh, yeah, I'm sure Amazon is the problem because they want you to use their watch party feature that only works for a quarter of their shit. Yeah, and half of it of them don't even have the watch party thing, so I'm wondering if they're still doing it or not. I mean, I wish we were doing a Netflix one because we saw we could do the, the, the Netflix with no, no problems. Yeah, that would be nice, but... Too easy. Yep, but, you know. Uh, the so, anyways. Finds a way. Uh, what's up, guys? What's up, Lemon Pie? Good to see you here. Uh, we are going to be checking up, out Lemon Pie? No, no Time to Die, hopefully. We are working on it right now. Everybody else, click that link. See if you can get in there. Uh, I know, PB, are you still in there? I think you're still in there, right? I just can't go in there at all. In the... I'm not in there. Oh, you're not in there? Let me go in there, then. I'll, I'll go in there. Everybody click the link. See I'm if not you there can at all. There. Okay. Because... Yeah, people, um, other people. See what happens. Yeah, see what happens. Uh, just for me and PB, because of uh, of Amazon chicanery, it won't let us join at the same time. Good old chicanery. Yeah, but just to let you guys know, uh, if you want to join, you can click that link. However, you will have to put the extension on. That is the only catch-22 to this. There you got to install the extension, and then you should be able to get in, even if you don't have an Amazon account. You should be able to come in, watch it, and actually uh, you can interact in the chat that's in there. It'll be off to the side. So everybody, do that really quick. We're not starting. To, uh, I guess uh, some one of us has got to find a place, uh, a place to watch it where they provide it. Mm-hmm. Working on it. The internet is a weird and wild place. So, yeah, if anybody is interested in joining us, just click that link that's pinned to the comments. You will have to install the extension. That's pretty much it. And then you click on it and it'll say join party. It'll do a little thinking thing. And then you should see my chat pulled up and you see the join party. I'm the only party there. So. Uh, that way you all can enjoy the movie uh, without me having to show anything and all that good jazz. So, yes. Uh, and from what, from how it looks, you should not need to have Amazon to actually watch it. You should just be able to click that and join it. Now, if it gives you some kind of BS that I know this only really works effectively on Netflix and probably Disney, maybe. I don't know. It's supposed to be an extension that helps them all. But we're experimenting because... That way, you guys can come in and, and join the fun. Yeah, if there's any fun to be had. Still, <laughs> work, still working on it over here. Like, my gosh, last time I clicked on the first one, and it was like, yeah, you just watch here. And I was like, oh, okay. And then it worked. And I went back to the same website, and it's like, uh, this version of James Bond don't really want to play on your computer, so piss off. But yeah, so anybody who wants to join, uh, P being that PBS to wait to find his own ways to watch it, he's going to make that sacrifice. I'm sailing. For, for I'm guys. sailing. He's sailing the high seas, so to speak. And uh, you guys can click that link that is pinned to the comments, uh, install the extension, and then come and join. There's even a chat so I can see you guys. And there's a video chat thing as well. Um, but I'm going to keep my video and everything over here and just interact with the chat. Um, 
via text, like the old school method. Let's see if this one works. Don't know. Working on it. I guess this is a time to die because every attempt we've made has died. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah, it's killing us. These fucking bastards. It seems like it's a fucking video game, you bastards. <laughs> so someone loaded the video game? Yeah, it's like the first, uh, I'm guessing, two hours and 34 minutes of gameplay. What a bunch of wankers. Uh, I love Lemon Pie's comments here. It says, no time uh, for the playback to die. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's so terrible yeah, playback. Oh yeah, it's it's it is uh, definitely hindering us for a fucking. It's really slowing down something that's supposed to be a watch along. When the people who are supposed to be watching got nowhere to watch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I clicked on this fucking link already. You piece of shit. And it's not the actual movie, you fucking bastards. I love when they do that, or they do the subversive one, where it's, oh yeah, it's the movie, the gameplay. Yep, they just had a, you know, thumbnail of the real people instead of thumbnail of uh, CGI people. Let me play this version. That'd be yes, wonderful. in theory, Aaron Cooper, uh, if you put on the extension, you should be able to watch it even without an Amazon account. We're conflicting because we're we both have an account. That's what so. makes that's what makes it confusing. Guy, if like us being on the same account is a problem, it really makes it seem like the other person is supposed to sign in with their Amazon account. But when we did it with Netflix, it just went. It just went, yeah. So Netflix superior, uh, Amazon not so much. They, it, it seems like a tactic from the Amazons to uh, to be an asshole about it. So yeah, even without a Prime account, you should just be able to click into it, and it it should just say join party, join party, and you should be. If you have any issues, let me know, because then that means it's literally Amazon. They tend to be dickheads about this stuff, so. Um, but yeah, in theory, it should be able to play even if you do not have a Prime account. Might be coming into port here. Ah, coming into port. Good job. Good job. Well, yeah, because I'm sailing the high seas. No, I don't want to watch it on Amazon, motherfuckers. That's the whole point, is to not watch it on Amazon. Ah, fuck you. You pricks. It's like, oh, yeah, you can watch it right here. On Amazon. Fucking hell, man. Ugh, that was... You bamboozled me there, chili movie, you motherfuckers. What happens if I click on the fucking Godzilla one? Oh, that also takes... It really... It's just a uh, website to get you to get Prime. That, that's all it's for. You fucking pricks. Unbelievable. Okay, so not that one. There, there was no port entry at that fucking gate. Well, like, no pirates here, motherfucker. And I was like, oh, well, you go to the next town. <laughs> so welcome everybody as we try to navigate the high seas so to speak uh we are trying to find the best way to bring you guys uh the quality entertainment of a watch along right now uh amazon is being a bit of a prick oh for sure no I don't want to watch it on Amazon, motherfucking. 
different website. Just plug in Amazon again. God damn. What the hell is that shit? So goddamn annoying. Is it working for Aaron, or do we not know? We don't know yet. Why don't I try this? Let me look up. Gosh, I wish that this thing... Dude, I fucking... This thing pisses me off. Okay, Amazon account. Let me see if I could do this. Your orders on Prime. Yeah, I'm just sitting here in silence. Trying to figure shit out. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to... I, I thought for sure this was going to be a, a sure thing. I was like, yeah, we're going to jump right on. No problems whatsoever. Right, no problems whatsoever. It's been one giant problem the entire time. It's crazy. Holy shit, everybody just wants you to go to Amazon. And if freaking monopoly stuff is this, I thought you're not supposed to have a monopoly. Way to go, government. Ball and buy an eight ball again. Let's, let's adjust my search. I don't think it's going to change anything, but it's worth a shot. Like, I wish that Tokyo freaking one would work. It's like what Tokyo YouTube. Yep. Thanks and thinks and thinks and thinks that you're going to watch the movie, but you don't. Like, what the actual hell? What's no planning? Turn the freaking volume off because this guy's unbelievably loud. I don't know what the hell he's even in sync aerator. What the hell is that? You're talking like a, a garbage disposal? I feel like that's trying to sound like a garbage disposal. I don't know. Where does it go in my sink? That's crazy. Yeah, and now we're going to come to where the movie is supposed to play. And then nothing's going to happen because it's a fucking asshole. Like, seriously? I will give you 10 seconds. I know it hasn't been 10 seconds, but I feel like I gotta move on from that. <laughs> and I ain't doing shit. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if Reddit takes me someplace. Reddit usually knows how to how to sell the internet property. Fuck you, Bloomberg. Don't know about free. I'm pretty sure they said they're on Amazon. Yeah, they're definitely not free on Amazon. No, they're definitely not. Oh, is this, is this link clickable? No, nope, but I can copy it. Okay, uh, here's the thing. Try to jump back on that link again um, because I did something I did not want to do for the sake of fucking saving time. <sighs> I brought the motherfucker, so click in the link, see if we still have the issue. Which, the first link? Yeah. Which one do you want me to uh, click? Uh, Aaron says, whoa, the extension wants permission to read and change my info on all my websites. Um, would you click for that? I just clicked. I just clicked uh, yes just, to make it work. Yeah, just click the yes. It should be fine. Uh, if you're not comfortable clicking yes, then that's fine. Click me to Amazon again. Okay, now. And that's loading the movie, and then it's going to kick you out. It shouldn't. I, I fucking it you out. It instead of rented it.
that's what I Are you still in figured. it? I'm still in it. Let me just press play. Mother, uh, no, no, it did. The maximum number of people playing. Okay. It was on your account. So you bought, you bought it and it still kicked you off? Yeah, it might take 10 minutes before. The maximum number of videos playing on your account to watch this video now. Stop watching it. it might, maximum numbers are streamed. Well, how the fuck do you change that then? God damn it. I brought this piece of shit for nothing. Oh, Aaron is here. Oh, hey, what's up? At least I'm pretty sure that the uh, hat, bear, I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. Well, at okay. least Aaron is there. Uh, okay. Let me Aaron, see if I can did go. It, uh, did it, uh, what's, a, what's Six. the question I'm looking, looking for? It wants her to rent it. I'm telling you, guy, I don't think that it actually streams the movie. I think it just adds a chat extension to it. Like, they 100% lied to you when they told you it did what it did. Well, it worked it for... don't do what it did. It worked for Netflix. I think it depends on the extension. Because you don't have a Netflix that just lets you in. And you were exactly where I was at. Yeah, I know, but then it kicked you out. What's up, Jane? Hey, uh, so when it said Reddit, did you say fuck off? What do you mean? Oh, I was You're asking me? Oh. I, I was talking to Aaron. Yeah, I don't. I'm so confused as to how Netflix played no problem. Didn't make yeah. me didn't make me sign into anything on my end. Like it just loaded the movie and it was there. But for some unknown reason, this makes you wanna. It's just showing me the Amazon videos page with purchase options. Well, what the actual fuck? I don't think that it works at all. I mean, if guess. I'm doing a watch along for Netflix, then sure, but I guess not for Amazon. Yeah, so like what's Amazon doing to prevent it is the real question. Well, here's the funny thing, too. It started as a Netflix extension, according to the history of it. Okay. So I'm thinking because it was a Netflix extension, that's why it works the way it does. But for everything else, it, it does not. Okay, so share your benefits with your favorite. Manage household. Put their name. Let me put PV. Continue. Agree. Continue. Apps games. Continue. No, I don't want to sign up for a freaking NordVPN, you bastards. Is that what you're going to force me to do? You other fucking pieces of shit. Did you get the invite that I sent you? Which invite? Where? Uh... I, I sent an You sent what where? Uh to you Amazon. To, you like uh what do you mean an invite to Amazon? What the hell are you talking about? Cause according to this it, it says that uh, uh household benefits uh, this allows you to share selected prime benefits with other people. I'm gathering it'll fix the media problem. Cool. You told me to click on something, but you didn't tell me where to click. I don't know. I sent an invite. It said sending. I sent it to the only where? name that's on there. You sent you sent it where? I don't know. I just click invite. Holy fuck. Okay. Hold on. Uh 
I have no idea where you want me to look for this guy. What do you mean you sent an invite? An invite to who? Uh, it says we have sent... Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, it says we have sent an invite to PB as an invitation to join the Amazon Alpha as a way of sharing select prime benefits. You had 14 days to respond. Okay, that's a good question, but how do you then receive it? I don't know. I guess I'll check some of my emails here. See if they're connected to that. Because I didn't think that I had my email connected to the Amazon at all. So. Yeah, because I don't. Okay, so that's not an option then. It just fucking sent it back to me. All right, well, that's not going to work. Um, What the fuck, man? I know. It's serious problem. Serious fucking problem. Welp. Um, let me see. And you didn't find another way to watch it, right? Uh, I'm still working on it. We're still out here sailing. I tried a thing. It didn't work. I was reading through Reddit to see if there was anybody giving me any handy hints there. Don't see anything worth a shit. It's not good. Things are looking not good for this. Yeah, I want to watch No Time to Die, but I also am not willing to pay for it anywhere because fuck that. <laughs> Watch and stream via Amazon. Where to watch? Amazon. Fuck you, Amazon, you cocksuckers. What if I... Let's, let's try going here again. So, uh, oh. welcome welcome to the uh, stream, if you guys are just tuning in. Uh, Amazon sucks. <laughs> oh, big time. a different way see if the internet will help me find my way back to something that i should already be able to get to okay let's try again. oh fuck you papa oh fuck you papa god damn it With the incessant popping of the ops. I typed correctly, that would probably help. No, I don't. I don't want to allow notifications from your bullshit website. Thank you. Oh my god. Okay, let's go all the way back. Try this one instead. See if it lets me click on the fucking screen. My god damn. I'd probably go faster if I knew how to type, too. Yeah, take it's a movie, motherfucker. Uh, why? Why, why, why? Oh, you fuck balls. Just take me to the movie. Let me watch the movie. And you won't because you're a cocksucker. Like, holy oh, shit. Just keep on incessant pop ups. They're all fucking same. Yeah. How about show me that one instead? Sure, that's what I meant. Why not? <laughs> Let the internet take you where the uh, wind is blowing, apparently. Are you actually going to play, you piece of shit? Mm. 
Give me mere moments here. Okay, I do have something playing. Oh, that's loud. That's. So, uh, did you get it? We've come into port, baby. Yes. All right. Uh, thank you, guys. So, that was an epic fail. Um, I'm going to pin this shit. What a bunch of bullshit. Uh, so, maybe we'll do... Um, Here, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to put it in the chat for anybody that wants to, like, just watch the movie with us. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. There we go. In case... Well, I'm not actually putting it in the chat. You are. Is that oh, clickable? Okay. Is that clickable on YouTube? Because I can't tell. Oh, yeah, it's totally clickable. Oh, what happened? What happened here? Took me to. Oh, I was like, where did it go? It's in a different window because I moved the freaking tab. <laughs> I thought it disappeared. That's freaking funny. Okay, so now we have a, a totally awesome way to watch it. Uh, go click on the pinned comment. There you go. And you can watch No Time to Die with us for uh, free. So um, where are you at? Are we starting it? Uh, we're going to start at zero as soon as I can. Every time I click on the screen, it wants me to uh, you gonna go full screen or are you going to go full screen inside the window? You didn't go full screen at all. Okay. Yeah, I'm now. at zero, zero, zero. Yeah, I'm at triples or quadruple zero or whatever. Yeah, so I, I am ready whenever you are ready. All right, three, two, one, and go. God, I brought this piece of shit. I am so angry. Fuck you, Amazon. I wonder if I can get a You just lost a point. Just lost a point on the review there. Lo oh, what got you already? Just lost a point. Just uh, that we couldn't watch it the way we wanted to. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, trust me, you'll be at more points by the end of this. I fucking oh my God. hate this movie. Okay, well, James Bond shot that guy and the barrel didn't turn red, so already upset. Yep, already lose. Like, what the fuck see, is that? It's already fucking up. We're not even like... We just made it yeah. 30 seconds in. 30 seconds in, it's already fucking up. Now, the barrel's be... supposed to turn red. Now, you're going to be bamboozled and swindled for a second because you'll see a lot of cool shit, but I want to see if you pick up the same flaws that I have with this. Well, I mean, that lady needs to ash her cigarette, flaw number one. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, the antivirus is probably going to scream at you for this link. You gotta turn oh, your yeah, it'll virus scream. Down. Just go, just go to uh, uh, visit anyways. That's what I did. And you should. I wonder what happens if I bring her up on my phone. What's the phone say to me if I click on that link? It's a good question. Nice mothering skills. Oh, yeah, the, the Chrome antivirus is screaming at me on the phone like, don't click on that link. Yeah, just ignore it. They say that when you sell it's these. Up, it's up to you. Like, yeah, that's the risk that you run when you're trying to do stuff, which, like, the computer ain't hooked up to much, and... If Amazon gets hacked, it's not my account. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I have no problems with this piece of shit. <laughs> what the well, fuck? Next, next time we do a watch party, uh, maybe uh, do something on Netflix, you know, so that that way people can actually fucking join it and we know it works. That'd be it's, cool. Yeah, uh, I, I was thinking we could do Three Body proper Problem and everyone could watch it with us. That's a TV show, guy. Oh, itchy ass. Oh. 
Well, you know, we could do like an episode a night or two if it's really thrilling. There's only eight episodes in television. That's fucking short. That's only like eight hours. Not anymore. What do you mean? Not with the way TV works now? It's not short. What do you mean it's short? Like that's a eight normal season of the boys. To 21, remember uh, the good old days of like Stargate and shit? Not that we. Okay, uh, well, eight. Didn't want eight it. Eight full hour episodes is eight is, hours. Okay, but that's actually like ten episodes because you're yeah. not counting out the commercial time. Yeah, because there is no such thing now. Yeah, even though they still play fucking ads. Not on my Netflix. I got fucking ad free. Yes, did I pay extra? Yes, because I. Holy shit! I, Let her well, up. That's what you get for fucking uh, putting a cigarette out. It's like, but don't don't be bamboozled because it's like this starts out to where I was like, oh yeah, okay. I thought it'd be a Spectre situation, but then I realized there's a couple of key things. I want to see if you bring up the same reasons that I do. But this movie pisses me off like John Wick pissed you off, and you'll you'll know when we get to it. There's a couple of key things. All right, I'll be looking for the blind guy. Well, thankfully, no. There's nothing that glaring, but there's something just as fucking stupid. <laughs> there might as well have been a fucking blind guy. Oh, oh, okay. Little girl kills the assassin. Okay. I mean, was that was an amazingly good shot for a little girl. Uh, did I get you hair, you son of a bitch? Yes, I did. <laughs> Dude, I do so like the hustle. This little girl can drag that body? I am impressed. Well, yep, you just see the thing that sucks too when you find out who the main villain is. I like the oh, actor. Man, I I feel like, oh my god! I feel like they gave the person who's the bad guy the worst bond to be in. Dude, Little backstory, like, that guy. house. This house looks like it's below the water level. Oh, it definitely looks like it. Um, little fat guy. Really guys, turn the volume up on this cracking. They uh, nice. it looks like that. Uh, if you guys don't know, they made this during the pandemic, and the script was rewrote four times. So, just gonna give that out there, so you guys have a clue at what we're dealing with. And plus, uh, it was changed for the message. We'll get there. Yes, I stole that from the critical drinker. He's fucking hilarious. I haven't watched him in a hot minute. I I watch him every now and again because I like to... Some of his reviews. What kind of plot armor is this little girl wearing? Oh, okay. Hey! J.D. Davis says it's the pop culture. PB, I didn't see the reminder. So, we had... To wait for me to remember. Hello, everybody. I believe it. Also, if you want to watch along with this, click that link up there. If you get a thing about virus protection, just visit it anyways. Unless you're not comfortable. Risk it for the biscuit. So, girl from this the first looks like movie. Check from the last movie. Yep. So continuity is intact. So far, everything's good, right? But don't worry. <laughs> it it goes barreling off of that fucking cliff. That's that the Kali soul in the last movie. Yep, yep. So consistent so far, right? It's Everything's Br going it's good. It's British. It's his right-hand drive. But don't you Everything worry. Everything's tracking. Everything's tracking wonderfully. We're a solid 7, 40, 7, 8, 9, 50 into the movie, and everything is beautiful. 
Oh, don't you worry. Don't you worry. It's almost three hours. There's plenty of times where it just fucking nose dives off of a cliff. The first half makes you think, oh, this is going to be great, because that's what I was thinking. I was lured into a false sense of security. And then, bam! Right off the fucking edge. Car explodes. Aster Martin, done. <laughs> I mean, this is quite the, uh, it's filmed nice so far. I mean, that's the one thing. Even the worst James Bond movie is always filmed great and acted fairly decently, depending on the era and whether or not you were really down for that. I will not hear this slander about Pierce Brosnan. No, Pierce Brosnan is a fucking national treasure. Yeah, there, of, I would never other, of another him. nation. And not I, our nation. I would go a step further and say everybody had a problem with uh, the Holly Berry James Bond. A lot of people don't like that one. And I say oh, to you, you cannot be one. my friend. Like, my favorite one in his era is Goldeneye, of course. Well, I feel like Goldeneye lives off the reputation of the video game. No, I, I would disagree. I think the movie's good, but it's not like... It's not that much better than the rest of them. But when you think of it, you also think of the video game, and you're like, yep, they still haven't made a shooter as good as Goldeneye. And they've only had, what, 25 years? <laughs> At General Zot's Phantom Zone, there's a bot preventing me from liking the stream. I'm getting a message that says, check quota. Like, there's a limit to what I can like a day. I don't know. This is going to destroy the sharing of videos for small creators. Wow, check quota? When did YouTube do that bullshit? Are you kidding me? Here, let me try to like my own stream here because I'm narcissistic like that. Let's just go. Check quota. Resource has been exhausted. What resource? Are you shitting? Fuck you, what YouTube. Yeah, I'm getting it too. It says resource has been exhausted, e.g. check quota. So if I go to the stream right now, I can't put a message? No, you can put a message. You can't like it. They put a limit of likes that a video can have. Are you fucking... That is so fucking scumbag -ish. Resource has been exhausted. What do you mean resource what? has been exhausted? What a bunch of fucking... Wait a second. You know what? Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Because it boosts you Before in the algorithm. You... So hold on. Relax. Relax. Because now it doesn't show everything because I'm not getting the fireworks when I hit the like button. But when I hit the like right now on my phone, it says that you have five likes. And then I hit the like button and it goes up to six, but then says resource has been exhausted. But if I hit the like button again, it says the same resource has been exhausted, but it goes down to five. So it's definitely what the fuck likeable. Are they playing at? What, I don't know. I'm going to reload what? YouTube and see if it's being weird. What? You, YouTube, get your shit together. Come on. Do better. Let's see if it says five or six likes here. Oh, now it only says four likes. <laughs> what? And then I hit like, and then I close it out, and we'll open it up, and I bet you it goes back down to four. Back down to four. What the fuck? They're putting a cap on likes. What a bunch of fucking assholes. That's wow. Confusing. They're lit. No, I think JD Davis is right. They're limiting the audience because of bigger chat. I bet you they're doing. Dude, I got to check out. If no one's doing a video on this shit, we got to talk about it on Friday. That is some grade B bullshit. That is, that is damn near criminal. Because you know what that does? That pushes all the other ones. And I bet you they're doing it for all those videos that get disliked and shit. From, you know, corporations like EA, Blizzard. You know, when they release a shitty trailer and everybody downvotes it to oblivion. But it's got just enough of what it likes to say in the algorithm. Well, if you push down the other fucking 
content creators. Wow, what a bunch of scumbags. Yeah, I don't appreciate that. Oh, Vesper's a lady who died? Yep, from the first movie. He never got over that piece. I mean, I don't blame him. I, I said this in the first one, and I'll say this again. Um, Eva Green. Dude, her eyes are fucking captivating. <clears throat> well, that sheet of paper, Zod, sir? I spent, uh, Zod, I spent all day <laughs> on this platform. I'm a premium user limiting what channels i can help is a huge mistake i i don't disagree with you janie i i honestly i i 100 oh shit agree man they just blew up james bond oh yeah like i said this starts off promising but just i wait. thought the guy who was running hydro got killed in the last movie there must no be two, remember he got there arrested must be two said, people running it now <laughs> no remember uh he said uh they, they, he said, I'm not going to kill you on the bridge, and he let them arrest him. So he didn't cut off the head. He imprisoned the head. Yeah, okay, so he imprisoned the head, but now there's two heads. Yeah. Organization is twice as big. Well, all the stuff that uh, Google's showing me is from at least a year ago, if not more. I bet you this is one of the things they implemented and didn't say shit about. You know how they like to do. They're waiting for people to get fucking pissed and more people to notice it. And then they're going to be like, oh, we're trying something new so that uh, we give smaller creators a chance. And it's like, no, you're fucking hurting the smaller creators. Bigger creators aren't going to give a shit. Uh oh. Now, see, um, I'm going to call that well, out that right there. Uh, one, that was extremely lucky. And two, I don't think that rock would have done that, PB. Now, look, I'm no. No, he time. totally would have smashed. He totally should have smashed the front of that. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, I. Unless the backside of that particular rock just happens to be uh, at a perfect angle to drive up when none of the rest of them are, that'd be pretty impressive. So, so, but. James Bond has a lot of bullshit, so we're gonna let that slide. But just trust me, it keeps on adding up. It starts small, so he and just, then you'll he's see the put the plot hole. armor on. Mm hmm And that's the thing that already had me at the beginning, right? Because James Bond never actually had plot armor. Like he got shot off a fucking train in the one movie we watched into the river, and he didn't recover right away. He was all fucked up for like a good majority of that movie, uh, Skyfall, right? So, but this already feels like they're like putting him in like, super okay. mode. Do you, do you still have YouTube open on your end? Yep. Okay, so guaranteed, guaranteed, there is at least three people watching, me, you, and Janie, and it says one. Yeah. That's the other thing, too. The readings have been all off because it says zero, but I've got it up on two different tabs. So, How many people does it say is watching in the stream yard? In the stream yard, it says zero. On YouTube, it says zero. But there's clearly people in the chat. Clearly. Yeah, it's fucking... It's so weird. Maybe YouTube's just glitching. It says, at General Zod, the bigger creators will start caring when everyone abandons their channels because they think they're not needed. That could be the play. I mean, we don't give a shit because we function here on zero and we know y'all are watching. So and we appreciate it. Even if the counters aren't showing shit, even if the likes aren't coming through, you just watching us, is supporting the channel and we're getting the watch time and stuff like this but this looks like some very sneaky bullshit going on now i'm gonna look into this and on friday i think we should report about this and see what we find out because i want to see if other creators have even fucking noticed this because i just noticed this right now and i'm wondering if anybody else is looking at the numbers they and think it with all the big people streaming someone oh, have had to man. say she works for Spectre. 
No, it, well, yeah, remember in the first one, she used to. But she left. They're trying the whole turn him against the hot broad. Dude, you cause... can't, like, when you say when you say first one, that is not the previous movie. I mean, And this okay. chick was only in the previous movie. Let me rephrase. Inspector, if you remember, they, she did work, but she turned. Now they're trying the whole, she's been with us the whole time angle. Because remember, her father is Mr. White. So if she didn't work with him, she definitely fucking knew about them. And now they're trying to play off that. Like, oh, can you trust her? And this is the other problem that I have with this movie. We already went through this arc in the very first movie with Vespa. You see what I'm saying? You can already see where creatively they're running out of ideas. You know, some ideas have to be repeated, like this is a car chase. I, I mean, no, but you get what I'm saying, though. Not in so much the idea, but the the story, you're just copy and pasting the story when they've all been different in some way, shape, or form. Was this lady got a tracker in her? Maybe. Uh, you really ain't be trusting this chick. Turned on her on a dime. It's I like, mean, yep, you're the only one who knew. It's your fault. I mean, to be fair, oh, nice. he did go through that whole thing with Vespa. So he's probably like, you know, chicks be lying. <laughs> oh, that hurts my soul a little bit. Dude, every time this car gets messed up, I want to cry. It's like, man, you can't like... Fuck that hit like a champ. Like, they rebuilt it. You would think they put, like, knowing him, like some fucking armor plating and bulletproof glass. Well, it's not going to... Armor plating don't stop you from getting scratched. I mean, yeah, but in theory, it should stop you. I mean, it would explain how he could take the hit like that. Oh, yep. Looks there's like they added window. some bulletproof glass. About time. How many times is that? Up so much. Yeah, I mean, most people think that bulletproof glass means it won't shatter, but it will if you hit it with a hard enough round or you just keep on pounding it. Eventually, it's going to break. These people are terrible shots. Oh, yeah, like, you could tell by the bullet you not hit, hit, If you could just hit in the same spot every time, like, you'd break through that glass eventually. She said, sorry, guys. I thought I was like the only shit. one watching because I believed the machine. I saw. I said it was broken. It took me a second because Mary Jane. Uh -huh. Like, I will say this much. This scene. This is sweet as fuck. But that's what's going to piss me off later. You'll see. Shooting like, herbs, making donuts, time to make some smoke. Smoke, yeah. Like, this is all, right? This is a typical, like, and that's the thing. Even the worst James Bond movies, which I don't know what people would count as their worst, have the greatest openers ever. Like, this is just a fucking opening. Yeah, we show the opening scene. Oh, I would call it the opening scene. Technically, the opening scene was them. At the beach, I guess. Yeah. But it's like jumps right into like your your first like action sequence, like You know shit's going off the rails when you cross the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually good. Thank you. Might need a nap, but it 
if it happens, I'll keep the stream up. Thank you, Jamie Davis. We appreciate your contribution here to the channel because apparently YouTube's trying see, to fuck over us. Like, he's just putting her on a train and she's got nothing. Go figure it out, bitch, eh? I mean, this, like, all this was scoring high marks. It's, it's when you get to everything else because I was like, that's some cold shit. That is like the coldest breakup. No, this, is, this is not scoring high marks at all if I don't get any explanation. And he's just like, well, I'm pretty sure. So you're like, starting to fuck, see the you, same you, plot holes I see, right? You like, gotta be more than pretty sure if you're gonna get rid of your hot piece of ass. Come on now. A lot of this feels like, because we could talk while they do the song montage. Like a Aaron, lot of this. Are you watching with us? Go ahead. This feels like people just writing convenient shit. Every everything is a letdown after Adele. <laughs> yeah, it, it really is. Like, like shit, don't get me wrong. She saved her for this one. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I like this singer, but this is Noah Dell. Who sings this one? Uh, I fucking forget. They'll say it towards the end. Oh, Anna de Armas is in the movie? Oh, yeah. The second best what part I, of this movie. What do I fucking know her from? Uh, She was in a lot of different things, but she's super hot and actually pretty talented. Um, Yeah, she's her even her cameo is a disappointment because I'm like you can't put Anna Diarmas like highlighted like that for for what she does. It, it's just the oh, whole... I know I know what I didn't see her in Knives Out. I saw her in Knives Out, unfortunately. Again, though, she was the highlight of that movie, and uh, she was in. Oh, I seen her in War Dogs. That was a good one. Gosh, it's got to be more than that. Like, obviously, I've seen Despicable Me, but you don't really see her in Despicable Me. No, no, you hear her. Gosh, she's done a lot of stuff that I've never heard of. Oh, and our favorite um, chick, uh, was she in, I believe she was in Captain Marvel. She's in this, too. Brie Larson's in this movie? No. The other one, the knockoff Captain Marvel. Monica Rambo? Yeah, her head is shaved. It's oh. fucking ridiculous. Oh, that's sad. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it's ridiculous. This this whole thing. They're doing the they're doing the empowerment thing. Don't worry. It's gonna go off cliff in a second. If you think there's yeah, plot holes gonna... now, oh my god. None of this new stuff seems familiar to me. I've Not probably anymore. seen more of Armady Aramis than you have. Well, I'm almost certain that you have, but I thought that it was a familiar name. Oh, it is. She's like, I, I'm sure you've heard the name and stuff like that. She's a very talented actress. And I'll point her out. She's like one of the hottest uh, people. You're in not going to have to point her out, guy. I can see what she looks like. <laughs> no, I mean, literally. I'm, I'm not fucking like, blind. I'm no, sorry. That's, that's wrong. Aaron, you didn't oh. answer me. Did you Did you uh, click the link with us? Five years later. All right. So he'd been bonding for five years. So what nope. movies... What do you mean, no? Yeah, they're very unspecific. He's been gone for five years. Okay. Re like, remember the end at the bridge? That was his resignation. He fucking left with Dude, her. I love playing Rainbow Six. I do, too. Um, But yeah, uh, he's been gone for five Wait. years. Whoa, 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 whoa. They just cut a giant piece of glass and tipped it over and just, just 
Is that there? What the hell is that shit made of? Trust me, that's not even the biggest one. But yeah, yeah, there's a lot of technical errors in this. There's a lot of shit that doesn't make sense. Wait until you hear the bullshit MacGuffin. It is so laughably bad out of all the doomsday things we hear about. Even if it is joke. <laughs> you guys, this is not funny. You think I like smallpox? Smallpox not funny joke. I get sick. You have to give me vaccine. It's a whole big thing. I go out, cough on someone. Boom. Infection. <laughs> He's going to put Ebola in their fucking tea. What a dick. They're coming? What a bad worker. J.D. Davis said, as the MacGuffin, nuclear tampon, that, J.D., that would have been more interesting than what it actually is. That, I would have been like, hmm, we got ourselves a plot. By the way, if you're watching this or if you just join and you want to watch along, there's a pinned link where you could sail the high seas and watch this great movie. After you pull it to port Good luck. and ignore the virus thing. You just swallow a zip drive or something? Oh. Dude, that is Russian. They're crazy. This cocaine just isn't resting in my nose nicely. It's very annoying. He's like, I swallow drive. They no longer. They no longer oh, kill but me. that glass that glass shatters. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah just keep going. There's there, just this is the small. I'm, of I'm, I'm, I'm loving the uh the consistency of Daniel Craig James Bond of a giant glass fucking room again. Uh, yes, that is the only consistent thing. Thank you for pointing so that out. Glass. I fucking did almost forget. So, and, and this is a different director, PB than the other ones we watch. Completely different director. They must have a mandate at this point. We need one scene, giant fucking glass rooms. Why? Because everyone congregates here them. I don't Uh, J.D. Davis says, I'm trying not well, to Well, they just killed all those people. That's nice. I got my phone hotspot to cover when my Wi-Fi was down, and I need to keep sniffing my farts on that for a while. That's disturbing, Janie. I don't like anything about that story. Other than... <laughs> Other than the fact that you made it happen, i.e. the internet. Yeah, now you can kill these two scientists, Joker style. They're totally getting murdered. Oh, yeah. Boom, there's one guy. You shoot my friend Frederick. I don't know why you shoot him in the head. We have coffee every day. He's a nice guy. You just pop. All of a sudden, he did. Yeah, all the exits are sealed, except for the giant fucking hole they blew in the side of your building. And no one noticed. <laughs> like, you got biohazards in your building, and there are not sensors on the outside? I, I, see? Now, so far, can we agree? The other movies have had kind of bullshit things to explain. But doesn't it seem like right away, this seems all wrong? Oh, this is freaking awesome. I mean, it's awesome, yes. But it's like trying to dazzle you from the fact that none of this makes sense. Dude, that was cool as hell, though. Using whatever this magnet is to get down the elevator shaft. Yeah, but it's like, I like cool tech, but I want the scene in general to fucking make sense. No, it would be nice if the setup made sense. Like, we just blew a big hole in the side of your building, but we can't go out that way. Why not? Because we got this cool thing we want to show you. Well, now I don't... Like, yeah, it's cool, but I don't care. 
Exactly. Uh, yeah, cheesy she rice said, guy. Her. She said, I left for a second and was informed that there will be children after lunch as guests, not dessert. So I'll probably did it for them. Same same as the sleep situation. So yeah, still five years. James Bond is out. He's fucking sailing right now. He's he's not sailing the high seas like we were, but he is oh. sailing AC. Dude, I love how they try to give him a body like, you know, he hasn't worked out or anything, but he still looks like fucking ripped. Like they try to play it like, oh, he's been gone for five years. So, you know, he's out of shape, but his out of shape is very different from our out of shape. Oh, well, my, my shape is round. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, you know, give him a little bit of a gut or something. He just looked like he skipped ab day. <laughs> he should look like Thor. Yeah, yeah. Give him the Thor robe. Have him playing Fortnite, cursing at kids, threatening to come over and kill their whole family. Kids shouldn't be assholes. They got to learn. They shouldn't. I totally agree with what Thor said. As you can see, I'm a little worse for the wee. Dude, that's how I... That's okay, Jamie. We can work with that. Like, look, look. This is five years later. Dude has not lost his fucking physique. Bullshit. He has not shot anybody except for in the beginning. Past that, he's been fucking sailing and cashing his own fish and fucking just... Where does he get his ammo? You know, spy. Don't fucking think about it. I'm, I mean, okay, if, I'm okay if he makes it, but I just need to, like, I feel he get like he's at a place make where you can easily get, I mean, I'm not trying to judge here, but it seems like a da, place da, where you can da, da, easily da. get illegal weapons. Black market guns. It's a shithole, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Here we go, my favorite character. No. That is Yeah, there we go. Oh, they're saving the other character that I love so much. You knew Detective Gordon would find him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, the stupidest argument was Ray Swap and Detective Gordon. God, I hated that argument. I'm like... He still reminded me of Detective Gordon. Right now, honestly, every time I see Jeffrey Wright, I just think Detective Gordon. You want to know why? Because he did a fucking great job in the role. Does not matter that we had a black Jim Gordon. That is the stupidest fucking argument ever. Dude, I don't know what kind of game they're playing, but it looks fun as yeah, shit. Yeah, what is this? Oh, what do I know this guy from? Yeah, he was in a <laughs> couple of different things. Something I just watched not too long ago, I feel. At Pop Culture PB, that kid's comment was not Zod's reading, my writing. You're both kind of about this. <laughs> Dude, not I don't gonna lie, understand every... this game, but I want to know what it is. I, I can't either, but I am intensely wondering. Like, I totally play it. I feel like they're in Haiti. Oh, uh, there's my second favorite character. Yay, wait until we get to her. So interesting. Boy, I love this era in 2021 where everyone thought that female empowerment was just the way to go. Ah! Ah! <laughs> 
I do I do like that line. Bad luck? No, bad judgment. Obligatory lefty response. <laughs> JD Davis is sad so much of the very Jade. She's like obligatory lefty response. So we'll just insert comment. Insert NPC comments. Okie dokie. Like, look, I hate doing that argument now because it just seems like the cool thing for everybody to argue about that. But this movie really proves the point of certain things that are said. Dude, you, you open the hood and you don't even have to look for the thing to hold the hood open. It just unfolds. Like, I, like, honestly, when she got introduced, I like nothing about, you know how you see somebody and you just automatically don't like anything about their character? It screams uh, very pretentious. Yes, I know exactly what you mean, Zod, because I don't read books. I exclusively judge them by their covers. Ooh, that was sharp. Thank you. I've been practicing. What are we do again in a fucking high and class? I got, a, I got a grinding wheel for my brain. Keep that fucker sharp. And when it doesn't unfold, you get knocked unconscious by the hood. Says Daddy. What do you mean? What do you mean when it doesn't unfold? Did you have a Jeep like that before? How could it not unfold? Oh, I remember seeing this chick and all the thumbnails that people were making about this movie. Oh, yeah, she's quite as terrible as advertised. Because they're like, oh, I'm turning James Bond into a black chick. And I was like, is she hot? No, they're not. That It's not that. It's just you could see what they're trying to do. It's quite obvious. Oh, badass. She said she put a bullet in James Bond's knee. I'd be like, bitch, you know how many people have tried? Good luck with that. It's like, I don't like her demeanor. I don't like the way she carries herself. She's a very unlikable character. Now, I don't know if this is supposed to be on purpose, but you see, like, the writing feels like you have to make the person unlikable to seem badass. Yeah, she looks like she's pretty likable from, like, uh, hip to lumbar. She looks like she's likable before she fucking talks. Goddamn, did you not listen to what I said? Did you not even think about what I said? Yes, have to love art. I got it. But. Fuck, laugh harder next time. <laughs> I'm saying she got fat ass. I know. We get it. You like a fat ass. Oh, what is that? That is my new car. No, she's not. In the least. I do like Robert, Rupert Fines, though. I love how he's just like, click, hung up on him. Fuck off. <laughs> he's like, losing an argument? Hang up. You automatically win. Hmm. 
Don't know what's happening. Take your headphones off. Like, when I saw him again, I go, okay, let's go. This is going to be good. Oh, just wait. That is a gorgeous looking uh, scenery, though. So the black chick is technically 007, or she's a yes. different 00 number. No, is no, she is 007, but not really, though. <clears throat> Now, I don't agree with the they sideline like James Kevin Bond. Costner for a second, bro. Oh, yeah. Um, now, I don't agree with the statement where they say they sideline James Bond because I don't like you could clearly tell like, no, they don't. But it's still just weird. Like the the writing in this feels so off. Uh, we're going to find out if he's put on the back burner. He ain't done anything since he retired. Can you guess like who that is? Chase scene, and then that entire place oh. got... No. no. My future okay. wife. That's Arma de Armas. The what? best character. Where's Yeah, I know. Where's the rest of her body? Oh my god, PB. She's up there with Eva Green for me. She is super fucking hot. And likable. Look at that. Dude, so Eva Green's got way more like body than this chick does. She gets points for personality. Like, everything gets weight. I understand that. But, like, what if somebody's got a banging personality and a banging set of hips? She's just got a banging personality. Like, I need I need more hips. Uh, she said, I don't think uh, real spies worry about the, the, what gender their allies are. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the way that you write something, like making someone dislikable to make them seem like they're tough is a James Bond made her turn around. I love that. She's like, I did three weeks training. Like Wait, she should have been supposed the to be working for MI6 or CIA. Uh I forgot which oh, one she's she is. It's... Cuban intelligence. I think she's uh, Cuban intelligence. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, like her facial features and stuff, because her face is so unique and like the way she smiles and stuff. Just, uh, uh. Janie, I don't know what you're talking about when you say that, uh, Real spies don't worry about what allies or what gender their allies are. Like, what did somebody no, say I, that we did? No, no, I think my comment about the diversity thing or um, the uh, the uh, other chick who's supposed to be 007 now. Yeah, my issue with that was not that they made 007. Oh, God, she's a lush. Oh, yeah. Uh, not that they made 007 as a female. My my issue is how you write the character. They do this thing in writing where they make the woman extremely unlikable as if that makes them tougher. And it doesn't. It just makes them unlikable. There's a difference between making your character tough and capable versus making them bitchy and think that that makes them tough because oh they're not gonna put up shit from no put up with shit from no man that's not empowerment empowerment is showing the benefits that she has over her male counterparts like maybe being able to think outside the box or something like that that's my issue with hollywood writing women and it does a disservice to women by portraying them in one way 
because it makes ignorant men and a lot of ignorant content creators that proves their point. It's shitty writing. That's my my issue is it's it's a cop out because they can't think of a way to make uh, <laughs> a woman seem tough without over exaggerating other traits. Oh, she said, yeah, I was replying to Zod. Thank you. And she said, Ed General Zod, we're so used to disagreeing that I, you can't tell I'm agreeing with you. Oh, <laughs> no, no. I was, I was explaining, just exp explaining my point. Yeah. I, I agree though. Yeah. Like we're agreed that it's, it's poor writing, JD, that really upsets me because I think it does a disservice and it gives people more uh, ammo to say that everything is woke when in fact, not everything is woke. You could even have an unlikable character that has an arc that where they become likable. There's nothing wrong with that. But Hollywood just writes it where they're straight bitchy. They beat up 300 pound men, which is physically just impossible unless you got a big old girl. I've seen that. But like, it, it's it's infuriating. She says, oh, okay, poor writing bugs me. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's poor script writing. It's like, oh, we can't think of a way to make the powerful, so we just have them talk shit about the main character. Like, oh, I'll shoot you in the other kneecap. Yeah, you can kneecap anyone with a gun. I could say that to PB. He'd feel marginally threatened if I had a gun. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Which means he's definitely not there. That's like Batman saying, I put him in prison. Yeah, he's definitely out. Anyone who goes into Arkham, it's like a fucking railroad station. They go in, and then they go right back fucking out. <laughs> you in, it has out like baby. Don't hang around at the station too long. We ain't got the funds for that. He's like, oh, look at me. I'm at Fancy Party now. I got briefcase. I don't let go of briefcase. Dude, this is the fucking second time he was highlighted him in a party. Nice. Here's the bullshit MacGuffin! What in the shit? What? Yeah, they'll explain it. So if you guys are watching along, they just gas the whole party. Uh, at General Zod's Phantom Zone, what kind of space gun do you have that can threaten PB at his house? Oh, I've got a lot of space guns. He's got a laser ray. Wait, he knows the, about the laser ray. What? I'm so confused. They single out James Bond, and then they release a gas, but it, the gas only kills the bad guys? Yep. Oh, this is the best part. It's like, following this up, I was just like. Dude, I do like that eye, though. That reminds me of uh, the terrible Golden Eye follow up, Rogue Agent. I thought this guy was working for the bad guys. Now it seems like he's working for the good guys. We're killing bad guys. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, shattered glass. Didn't see that coming. He looks so Who the fuck does this good. trick work for? I'm gonna guess like the Cuban version of the Secret Service. Uh, 
<laughs> that was funny. Dude, she is kicking ass in that dress. It is quite kind of amazing. Like, I love how everyone just ignores her. They're like, ah, yeah, get James. Well, I mean, she was hiding behind the pillar. No, so see, clever. She didn't try to fucking out-muscle people. She just fucking hid and then took her by surprise. Because that's a reasonably good move for someone her body size and frame. She's not going to take out all those big guards by just fucking fighting them head to head. I I would love that poster. <laughs> they no, train they their people fucking good over in Havana. <laughs> uh, a genetically triggered bioengineered weapon gas is in several movies of the time. Yeah, don't worry, JD. It gets fucking stupider trust me when they reveal what it is she said science we could use see the building blocks of life and recognize different pa uh, patterns humanity so you found a really selective way to do group murder <laughs> it's good yeah but only on the bad guys oh that just uh crashed that fucking car oh Dude, the amount of nice cars that get crashed in this, this makes me... Way to go, Paloma. Oh. <laughs> She's really doing a bang-up job proving she deserved that 007 title. Fucking lost the target. Cops all around. I've been like, wow. Did she just pick that lock? I think so. Not going to lie. This, this looks like a, a set from Resident Evil 5. <laughs> Dude, Resident Evil 5 was... was Fantastic. Yeah, it was the last one where you had to stop to shoot. And now this is where the movie loses three points for me because that's it. That's all you get of Arma Diarmas. She was the most likable, charming, awesome character. Oh, it's and she's all just in it for Huh? Do we get two scenes? Yep, that's it. Party, two party scenes. arrival and party over. Yep, that's it. The most charming, likable character, they fucking leave in Havana, and the unlikable cunt that I can't stand, sorry, Janie, but she is, uh, you get to see her the whole fucking runtime of the movie. What? Where are you taking me? I, I just want to go back to Russia. I have some work. I, 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 do I make weapon? I do the thing. You tell me I'm okay. Uh, it's fine. Just going to this random fishing boat? Yeah, he's supposed to uh, meet Felix. This has the problem that Quantum of Salus has, too, where they don't explain anything like... Uh... Nope, they said five years. That's the last yep. update we got. No fucking title cards. Like, they said that they were going to Cuba, and I assume that's where they were, but they didn't say when they got to Cuba. 
Okay, so she's her question was humanity. So we found a selective way to do a group murder, and the answer is, bit your tongue. But thanks for remembering. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Yep. yep. Another point deduction. Oh! They just they just fucking killed Detective Gordon. Dude, I was so fucking pissed. Well, at least well now that they've killed him, hopefully he'll get promoted to commissioner. Good evening, commissioner. <laughs> Dude, I do not give a fuck. I'm I've fallen so down confused. those things. I'm so I'm still so confused. Like, so he was supposed to this guy was supposed to kill James Bond. This bold guy was supposed to kill James Bond, but he decided because M told him he should kill Spectre to change the DNA to Spectre people. No, this is still so you're confused. I'll explain it. This is still the third guy you haven't met. He's the one taking out Spectre. There's another entity. Why do we give a shit if Spectre's getting killed? I'm so, that's what I don't understand. Because it's supposed to be a big plot twist. You'll see. It's a stupid fucking plot twist. Not terrible impersonation. I was a joker. Thank you. <laughs> well, Janie, you want to know how I got these scars? My father was an addict and a fiend. And one day he goes a little bit crazy. And he picks up a kitchen knife. And he comes at me at the, with the knife. He says, why so serious? <laughs> Yeah, if you had any hope, like, and I hate this too, because they just didn't just shoot Felix, right? They are like, oh, so shooting and fucking drowning, like, this seems excessive. Well, yeah, just to be on the safe side. Like, remember the, I think it was the second movie with the one guy, the, the fucking... One dude that James fucked over, but then he wind up being all right. But then they shot him and put him in the trunk. Like, that seemed like an appropriate death. And it was kind of sad and everything else. This just seems like they are trying to, like, rip out your fucking heart. Because I don't want to watch fucking Felix die like this. I fucking love Felix. Don't you love Felix? Everybody fucking loves Felix. This is pretty damn amazing. <laughs> At General Zod's Phantom Zone, relating to that character a little too well, and then worried, smiley face thing. Like, see, another point deduction. Yeah, what the fuck, awesome man? Point. You get rid of the fucking cute girl, and then you kill off the best spy that's not James Bond. Yep. Ugh. You start to see the plot holes here, and the that's fucking, not a plot like, hole. It's just not disappointing. Uh, I'm sorry. The bullshit disappointments. It's like at the very least, like I would have liked. There's a ways underwater now. 
Oh, yeah. At the very least, I would have liked to see, like, Felix at least, like, die, like, fucking gunning with James Doing Bond, something. you know? He didn't even do he, anything. He just he got didn't, killed. He, he got shot in the gut, fell I mean, down the fucking tec- stairs. Technically, he saved James. Technically, he saved him. That's it the just thing feels that, wrong. That's the thing that Paloma grabbed out of the car? Yep. I thought she kept it. I didn't realize she gave it to him. When did that happen? Hey! You gotta love them shipping lanes. Yep. There's that fucking bulldog. He still kept it. The bulldog that uh, original M gave to her before she died, and he said he hated it. But then wound up keeping it, you know, after she died more meaningful in Skyfall because she actually fucking did something. Oh, what and do we got this guys. time? The car he stole. Remember at the end of the last movie, he stole that agent's car? He fucking did it, dude. Somewhere, like 005 is sitting back like, where the fuck is my new car? And James is fucking driving it back to London. Which, by the way, we're in London because... They did not feel the need to put fucking like title cards at all for transitions. No, well, okay. So the other one, it was like semi okay because they talked about going to Cuba and then they were there. You just assume that that was where they showed up because it looked like Cuba. Yeah. I have no idea where they are right now. He didn't say he was going back to London. But we can infer that because Money Penny is there with the rest of the agency. This fucking cut. Dude, every time she comes on screen, I want to slap her in her fucking face. What a fucking bitch. I, I swear. So she is 007. Yeah, I told you. So they did turn 007 into a woman. See? What the fuck? <laughs> I Like, I didn't want to believe the other channels, but this is so fucking blatant. And they don't make her, like, even a small bit likable. That's what pisses me off. Like, all they had to do is, like, show some kind of flaw... Some kind of fucking personality. She's but her personality is bitch. How many fucking guys has she boned? Like, she should be out there getting dick nonstop if she's freaking 007. Yeah, because James would have been fucked like three women by the fucking title card. Right. Like, oh like if you're going to wear the mantle, you got to wear the mantle. No, I don't. Oh, man. Like, it, no matter what way you interpret this, it's disappointing because if every 007 is James Bond and they're all his stories and the actor is all the same character, well, obviously not any fucking more. More, yep. So that can't be fucking true. No, because they just broke lore. Right, because now it's 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 just a number. It's like do I do I care about 007 anymore? I, I don't think that I do. I just care about James Bond. Perhaps because he's dead. Okay. That stopped him. Yeah, you can't answer the phone when you're dead. God, everybody knows that. Get your shit together, Ram. How do you know that this black chick doesn't have better judgment, Janie? Uh, 
Yeah, she could totally be, uh, you know, slow it up. It just seems to be a 007 thing to numb the pain. They See, sex for James Bond was never about being misogynistic or whatever. He did it because he fucking murders people and he can't make a real Wait, human so connection. What, wanting to have sex is misogynistic? That's their reasoning. James Bond is misogynistic and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, he's a fucking human being. He murders people for a living. So, yeah, he's got to do other things. When, when is, when is James Bond misogynistic? So, misogynists don't, like, constantly get laid. Hell of a shot. Oh, man, right in the garbage with a badge? That was impressive. That was. He earned that M status. Everything she says fucking annoys me. I seriously like minus ten points just because she's in it. Even Money Penny shooting James didn't fucking bother me. That was more comical because it's like, yeah, don't give her a gun. But ah. I, I, I mean, this is just like that that really bad writing, like. Oh, you got one of those cats? Yuck. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, Q. Why do you have one of them weird cats? For the record, I didn't bring up the subject. <laughs> well, yes, I know that. I'm just saying. Uh, we did. We brought it up like, hey, that's part of the James Bond thing. If you're going to wear the title of 007, guy girl will be in equality here. You got to sleep with a bunch of guys. He sleeps with a bunch of women. You gotta sleep with a bunch of guys. Continuity. It matters. <laughs> right. Either either the 007 matters and you gotta be out there getting laid or 007 doesn't matter and I only have to care about the name James Attached Bond. to the exact... Which makes the... Oh, man, like... Oh. You see I my hate, problem hate, now. Because uh... it breaks the lore we had up to this point. If we stopped at Spectre, it gives you that big surprise. And, and Honestly, and Daniel Craig said this, he wanted to stop at the last movie. And when you see the last movie, it could have been the ending. But no, they gave him a shitload of money and they made this fucking movie. And it kind of makes is... me disappointed. I mean, yeah, she could sleep with a bunch of women too, Jay. I don't give a shit. Guys, girls. I don't give a shit. Yeah, you, you just got to wear the fucking title, Jay. That's what we're saying. You, just be you have you expectations be as a fucking secret agent, right? Sometimes you sleep with the person. No, you no, not you as a secret no, no. torture. Not as a secret agent. You don't have expectations as a secret agent because I don't expect Detective Gordon to get freaking laid. I just don't. But I do expect zero zero seven to be shoving that seven through those O's. <laughs> oh my god! And I do have to cut out like the first twenty minutes of the stream when we're fumbling about trying to figure out how to get this to play. I just realized that I gotta do a little bit of a little bit of trimming. Do you gotta see if you can get the... your money back for this? You... Do you see why like I want my movie? money back? Okay. I'm no, okay. so fucking so, angry right now. Like it, <laughs> so, it's like you got two different ways you can look at it because like the movie itself I mean it's it's good. The movie itself is good. I don't necessarily understand everything, which isn't a problem because I haven't made it to the end. So if my questions aren't resolved by the end of the movie, then it won't be any good. But on the other side of the coin, it's like, uh, is this the same James Bond that's in the other movies? Because then 007 doesn't mean anything. I don't, I don't give a fuck about 007. You, like, take that out of the titles. We just call it James Bond. Because she's, exactly. she's fucking, she sure is fucking James Bond. That's the biggest mistake. If you made her 008, 009. No, why the fuck don't you pick a different number? <laughs> Alec 
from fucking Goldeneye. Our favorite boy, Sean Bean, who always dies, right? He was 006 and was friends with 007 and betrayed 007. And we didn't have a problem. Fuck, we, we liked 006. I was a little hurt when I found out he was a traitor. Okay, because they had a good back and forth. But, like, that's my issue. It's like... And here's the most wasted talent in this movie. I fucking love Remy Malik, And I feel like they gave him the worst fucking movie to be in. And he's such No, a Jamie, actor. we do not agree that James Bond could be gay. We do not agree on that. Gay Bond. We all agree James Bond could be gay. No! 007 can be, could gay. be gay. But yeah. James Bond is a James woman, has proven he, he's, he's not gay. I Not that I'd have a problem. As a matter of fact, Daniel, call me. Because but... the whole point is James Bond is his character. And I don't know the name of the black chick yet, but we'll call her 007 is a different character. Oh, yeah. That's not that's that's not fucking Bond, but the, so the like, title says if they James make Bond, another movie, seven, no time to die. Fucking confusing, right? Well, let's put it this way: if they make another movie with another new Bond, like they've been doing ever since they've made Bond movies, right? Everybody understands how it works at this point, and the guy comes out and he's a raging flaming homo. Um. That's not really James Bond. That's just like somebody that stole his identity, like papers wise. But like the I identity, mean, like it's oh, wrapped no, no. in. Here's it's it's my part opinion. of the identity of James Bond is to be a womanizer. That's part of it. No, no. I could, I'll get behind that and I'll tell you why. Because if he's still sleeping with a bunch of men, he's not breaking continuity. So I'd still call him James Bond. It'd just be in the other side of it. I'd be fine with a gay James Bond as long as he's doing what James Bond does. Sleep with guys, get information, and kill motherfuckers. I wouldn't care either way. Yeah, but he doesn't. What bothers he's me, He's not sleeping with the women to get the information. The women are sleeping with James to get the information. But you could rework that scenario in reverse. The guys who are henchmen could be sleeping with James, and he's getting the information from them. Either way, it doesn't break the flow. My issue is... They gave this other character 007, but she's not doing the functions of what 007 does, which breaks the whole fucking lore that we've established up to this point. And at this point, if he doesn't have his title, it's just James Bond came back to is do this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be the guy that's run Inspector? No. You'll see. Oh, okay. He is the third party, I'll call him. Hey, James even thought about it. Maybe there's a reason women can never no, that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. That is not true. Do, no, see, you're out, JD, Best because remember died. in our first watch along, he did have one love. Her name was Eva Green. Or Vespa. But I just say Eva Green. So... They'll later Being reveal super creepy, what. Mr. Malik. Super creepy. And, and that's Excellent. the thing. Remy Malik is such a fucking great actor. Like, he's really fucking trying. And I feel so bad for him. Because this guy gets so many roles where they just use him piss poor. I, 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 he needs to fire who's ever booking him in these fucking projects. Bad luck? Nope. Bad agent. Yeah, people are going to die because you created something that kills people. Genius. Now, the 
Ben bir söz sözünü neyip de Bilmem bir ne var da The after blow failed. Yep. Oh yeah, that's sweet ass eye. So they basically created this stupid fucking de device with with nanobots that fucking specifically target. This is the stupidest. I don't know about you. This is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. Maybe I'm just not tech savvy. I, just like something that could specifically target the people and wait till you hear the other parameters. I'm like, this sounds like something fucking made up. And I don't like that in my James Bond. I'd like to think the fucking laser ray could actually fucking exist. Uh, <clears throat> Jamie, it's funny that you put it that way because I would say that every perfect love ends with someone dying wow that shit got dark that, fast that's 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 kind of what makes it perfect i'm not talking about like people that murder each other guy <laughs> i'm talking about the fact that regardless of how long you were together if it was a perfect love it's definitely going to end with one person dying see look So who are the This is so bad. But it gets worse. The the specifications is so fucking it gets worse. Janie, Janie, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. If it's a perfect love, one person has to die. If it's not a perfect love, yeah. You could still be in the position that you stay in a fucking relationship, but that sucks for you. Usually, if it's not a perfect love, the people move the fuck on, and nobody dies in that situation. You just separate yourselves. What the I'm fuck? so confused at what she's saying. What? I'm so confused at this whole thing. What the fuck did he just say? He's got to call the prime minister. Why? Because the uh, the people, there's a like the prime minister and shit are infected and could be killed at any moment. No, just so you can let them know this thing is exists. It. <sighs> this is where it gets really fucking nonsensical. So basically, these things can target. The specific target but if you get it on your skin they stay on forever yeah i know the nanobots are in you forever and at some point you can be targeted depends on who controls the device it's it's the stupidest i i don't know why this is so so fucking stupid and you'll You'll see it. Second you point. Because... Uh, I, I just, th that's not Monica Rambo. That's Maria, isn't it? Or is Monica the Or Maria. Yeah. You know, that's I what I thought. Confused. Maria's it's, the it's other the one. Maria. It's, it's the other one, yeah. I would have been happy with Monica, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Oh, yeah, I like Monica better. We got the wrong Rambo. <laughs> right. Wrong Rambo. <laughs> Start that hashtag. We're, we're three years too late. 
we are. We are three years too late on that one, PB. I'm sorry. It's a battle. Unfortunately, we can't win. God, PB, do you ever just get the feeling like, don't you just want to punch her face every time you see it? Uh, not as much as you do. It, it, she's just, she's got that air of dislikability about her. It's just like, my no, God. I just, I'm just having a problem with the fact that, like, this movie destroys the lore of Bond. That, yes, that's what I said. And being a huge James Bond fan, you saw my excitement, Inspector, and everything else. I'm like, oh, it's a prequel and everything else. But now, this is, to your point, what destroys my theory, but what they said where it was canon, right? They just re retroactively. Oh, I just can't. Like, James Bond should not be calling somebody else 007. What the fuck is that? At Pop Culture PV, because people end game, but typing that unedited is not good for Zod's chat. <laughs> my screen still says six likes. But it will pro probably won't if I exit. Probably. Because YouTube is just. Full of resources. Can't fit any more resources into the YouTube. Nope, nope. It's, it's all stocked up. Wait, who the heck are we going to talk to right now? Blowfield, our favorite villain. What do you so mean he hasn't seen this chick in five situation. years. She's going back to see Blowfield. And she's seeing Bond after he fucking dumped her at the train and said, I'm gone. Deuces. She said, I'm going to check. Be right back. Okay. This prison is awesome. It's like... That channel is odd. I exited, this, I exited the stream and shut down the app, and I'm seeing five likes. Well, at least I'm fucking at five. Yeah, that's the number I saw. It's our boy, Kristoff! Waltz. Thank you. Oh, they got such great chemistry and stuff. Maybe it's some kind of glitch they fixed. I doubt it. Oh, it's six again now. <laughs> Maybe it is a glitch. Fucking YouTube. It's a glitch. It's a glitch. Good. Ha <laughs> ha!
Dude, those gummy worms look stiff. They do. Like, get, get some new worms. There's the cricket agent. <laughs> oh, yeah, J.D. Davis says, yep, Klitsch, I had no problem liking the video. And it will. The secrets are coming out. And it'll be the death of him. Foreshadowing. If you leave, you can save the day, but if you stay here, you can't do anything. This is fucking hilarious. Dude, they have the best fucking dialogue. This guy is insane in a fantastic way. Oh, yeah. He, he totally plays up this role. Oh, yeah, he killed him with his nanobots. This is so fucking stupid. What's hey, up, what's up, Keeper? We're watching my least favorite Bond. Welcome. I'd say this is probably my least favorite Bond in all of James Bond history. That's a pretty big history, and that includes Her Majesty's Service, which is, eh. This is fucking terrible. I am struggling getting through this right now. I want to fucking throw something at the television, but then Bitchy would be mad at me, so I'm not going to. So when the fuck did... So he just got the nanobots just now? No, at the party, when the gas Okay, came. that's what I thought. 
So this is the problem I have. They have no shelf life for nothing. It's just on his fucking skin forever. So it. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, it, he's it, in Norway. It, I know that road. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the title card, because obviously they. You're welcome. You you're, you're welcome, everybody, because they don't fucking tell you he's going to Norway. You're just supposed to know the fucking road and how many people know that road. Like more people than are in all of Norway. But not that many fucking people. Dude, that is a gorgeous house, though. Well, yeah, I love a spiral staircase. They're super fun. But if you're going to have a spiral staircase, you also need to have a fireman's pole. Preferably one that you can, like, have spin around so then she could go on it. So we can both agree she is fine looking. Well, yeah. Especially compared to 007. <sighs> She's been trying to tell you, but she sent her out a fucking trade. She was probably going to tell you the whole fucking plot of the movie. But that was too soon. We needed a fucking contrived, stupid fucking reason for them to make it to this. Do you see my issues that I'm having, PB? Like, this could have been resolved. Yeah, they ruined the, the lore of 007 because 007 is a woman. Who apparently no, doesn't I mean, even get laid. No wonder she sucks at her job. Like, she's bringing down all the other double O's. But besides that, PB, I'm talking about, like, story-wise, right? Isn't it, like... Just super like this whole thing could have been solved with a five minute conversation in the fucking beginning of the movie. Like, it's so fucking bad. So yeah, those things then, are alarming when but big, then what Spectre big still would have got killed without Bond there. I mean, yeah, and that's my other issue. How did they know he would go to Blowfield and then pass it to Blowfield at from the party like this is what i'm saying what That's i'm saying is movie. that blowfield isn't even in the movie it's fucking blowfeld god damn it pb you uh, you know what i'm saying yeah but nobody else does because they're sitting here going uh is he talking about blowfeld because i don't remember a blowfield in the movie okay blowfeld right this dude's plan, like, hinges on the fact that he's going to go back to MI6, be in contact with oh, him. Oh, they're going to get back together because she likes the bondness. See? That's the 007 move. That's what we're talking about, Jane. <laughs> oh, uh, she, she said, those things are alarming to big people. The spiral stairs nearly got trapped buy one at my friend's place as a kid. And then she says, Berenstein Beepers, What the fuck do you whatever. mean? What? How do you get trapped on steps? Easily. So, uh, easily? there's a kid. Is it double O daddy? Oh my god. You're fucking welcome. That was quality. No, I don't. I. How do you get trapped on a spiral staircase? Oh, like, okay. No acknowledgement of my awesome play on words. I heard it. It was okay. Come on, that was that was a good that was a good play. On. Oh no, my I god! Need to Every time I answers. see your face. Good morning, Christine. Hey, good morning, Christine. If you would like to watch this movie. Click on the pen uh, comment and then just ignore the. She's virus. not watching the movie, guy. She just woke I... up. She's got to have coffee and get ready to go to work. I know. I'm just saying for later. Double O Dad. James Pa. <laughs> James Bond in with his son. But that doesn't work because it's a girl, so 
James Bond oh, it's a girl. with Sorry. his daughter. Sorry. <laughs> ah, Love and Pie is still here. I knew you were fucking here. Yeah, I knew Love and Pie was here. Has Love and Pie been here the whole time, except for when he was gone. And by the way, thank you, seven people watching. Hope you've clicked the link, sailed the high seas, and ended it in about, uh, let's see the timestamp. We're at 139.05. Oh my God, seven. we're only at 139. Jesus Christ, there's still an hour left. Oh yeah, my man. God. We're in it. We're in it to fucking win. I thought it was going to be over in like 20 minutes. Dude, do you know how agonizing this is? This is the third fucking time I've watched this movie and tried to like it. It just annoys me more and more. It's one of those movies where I just keep on getting more annoyed every time I watch it. Because I find so much shit wrong with it. Until 11.24? Holy fuck. Thought I was going to have some time to myself tonight. Apparently not. Going to have to go to bed right after this stream. Unless I fall asleep in the next hour. Oh, no, no. You're you're definitely going to stay awake. Because you're invested in finding out what you mean I'm invested? Why would I be fucking invested? 007's got a pair of fucking B-cups. Well, I guess he always got a pair of B-cups. No, no. You're invested in James Bond. I mean, maybe. I thought he was going to spend more time with Paloma, but he did not. Dude, I am that that right there was a five point deduction. When they got rid of Arma de Armas, Paloma for fucking Monica Rambo. Or I'm sorry, it's not Monica, right? It's uh, the other one. Maria. Maria. They both are fucking M names, people. I'm sorry. Yeah, Maria Rambo. Ah. They picked the worst Rambo. At least, God damn, every decision in this movie is fucking terrible. Like the stream, thank you, if you can, because it was glitchy today. Exactly, thank you, Janie Davis, appreciate the shout out, and thank you all seven people for watching. And click that link if you want to watch along with us. Or don't. Or you, you could go into the description and click the link there, and it'll take you to moviepalette.com. Where you can save 15% on top of any sales that they have going on when you use code ZONE15. And you get to help your favorite YouTube villain. Thank you, MoviePilot.com, for sponsoring the channel. Now I back to our say... feature presentation, which is just no. us sitting here talking about a movie that's pissing us off. What? No, I, I thought you were going to say not guaranteed to arrive, to arrive before Christmas. Like, oh. I, I expected that. Like, uh, you kind of you let me down like this whole movie. Well, I did let, let you down, down. <laughs> yeah. Just like this movie did. So is he, did we find, is he double O dad or what? Oh, you won't solve that mystery until later. But I'm pretty sure you can put the pieces together where her having steel blue eyes. <laughs> like, like that's a kid where you look at him and you go fuck that is definitely my child like there's no denying like she's good looking she's got the fucking steel blue kid i'm surprised she didn't come out holding the fucking cup of tea going daddy it's about time you arrived <laughs> No, 007 is not closing in on him because 007 is being double O dad. Spin, spin, sugar. He's in the crosshairs. Now, this is what pisses me off about this movie right here because we're going to get probably one of the best action scenes across all of the trilogy or quadrilogy of movies that are quintality yeah five of, of the movies i don't know what it's called yeah the, the, the we're gonna get the best fucking daniel craig fucking action scene and it's in the shittiest fucking daniel craig fucking james bond movie and it pisses me off because i wish i could be mad because these aren't badly shot it's like still the same quality of film and it's annoying. I'm 
So, were you on a high speed pursuit on the Norway Bridge there? No, I've never been to the uh, oh, what do they call it, the Atlantic Highway or something like that. Dude, that is a fucking epically awesome looking bridge. Dude, it's Shout like, well, that, that's the, the most coolest looking bridge probably on the whole thing, and it looks way cooler once it's winter time because it ices over and it gets sideways, freaking ice spikes on it. Looks cool as hell. But the whole road carries on like this with all these little islands and shit for, I think, I, I want to say it's like 110 miles or something like that. See, look at her fucking eyes, PB. Like, if you have any doubts whether or not that's his kid, look at her fucking eyes. It's like, bro, you can't even say in court that's not your kid. The judge is going to look at you, look at the kid, hear the British accent, see the eyes, and go, sorry, Mr. Bond, but it looks like you're going to be paying child support on your double O salary. Kids probably picked up a Took fucking one down. Okay. Like, I love how she's shielding the kid, because, you know, the kid's probably like, Daddy taught me how to do a car chase. Yeah, so that little hill that flipped that vehicle made perfect sense. Why didn't the other vehicle flip like that? Yes! Yeah, see? You see what I'm saying, though, PB? You, you, like, there's two options. The Either the vehicle in that first scene, or not first scene, second scene? Whatever yeah, fucking second. scene earlier... It should have either popped sideways or it should have rammed smack dab into that thing and, like, kicked sideways on its tires. That is what I'm saying. Thank you. And I wouldn't have noticed these inconsistencies if they didn't fuck up the James Bond lore. I could have forgiven the small shit like that, but now I understand how you pick out every other thing that's wrong with a movie when they fuck up something major. And it's just like, I started looking, I'm like, everything is off about this. Like, yes, this is a cool fucking scene, but it... Aren't they just, just trying to kill him? How come nobody's shooting? Yeah, it's like, yeah, exactly. There's just so many things. Although like there he's is fun. one part. He's, this is like the first time in the whole fucking movie he's not been in a bulletproof vehicle. And they're like, everybody, holster him. We're we're gonna get him with the pit maneuver today, bitches. <laughs> and like, look, there's a helicopter. There could be a fucking gunner who goes outside of the helicopter, PB. He could have had the fucking mini gunner. Point, How many action movies have you watched? To kill him? I don't understand what's happening at all. Are they not and trying he, to kill him? Exactly. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense. Like, what's your guys' plan? It seems like they're trying to aggressively stop him. Now he's just going to park in the ferns in the middle of the forest. Yes. Now, this is the actual fucking cool part that I like. Amidst the bullshit that doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, just wait until we get to the ratings, folks. Speaking of which, don't touch that dial after this movie ends because we'll give our short ratings and brief thoughts. No, you, no, 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 no. You touch the dial and you turn that son of a bitch up to 11. Uh, fair enough. Oh, and by the way, thank you, everybody, for... Uh, seven, we had seven people at one point. So. Oh, now? Wait, that, now he pulls out a gun? No, she did. And my point no, is... No, he pulled a gun out and she shot him. Oh, oh, yeah, the guy. Now he fought. Yeah, I get what you're Now we're just going to, we're going to hide in the only building that's in the woods. They won't think to look in the only building that's in the woods. You you see where I they told only you drove right up to it the and heard, they only drove right up to the building and heard shots being fired from the building, but definitely don't go look in the building. Like, like okay, this is another sensible. Like this is sensible right here, where he's using the fire to draw their attention towards him. Like that makes sense. And this is the what pisses me off. They do a bunch of shit that doesn't make sense, and then they do a sensible thing. And 
PB, is it just me or that that annoys me because the writing then signifies that they know, like, see, I love that. Like, this is my favorite shot. That was really good. Yep. That, that was nice. the best part of this whole fucking scene and my favorite in the James Bond just because of how he, like, flips the truck and then just goes up and shoots it, like, and I feel bad because I feel like Daniel Craig is trying here. He's not phoning this performance in. He's he's definitely like giving it his all, but this script is so fucking shitty. And I like this too. Boom. Oh my god. Damn. I was gonna say that guy was dead uh-huh. from the fucking clothesline, but that was definitely a double tap. There's Asian asshole. Oh, now we're going to pull out the gun and fire. Like, it's so fucking dumb. Thank you. Yes, I 100% agree with you. Although, I like the aesthetics. Like, I like that. I like that See right there. Like, that's fucking cool. You got him, you but got him how to, we get to drive the shot. over. I mean, yeah, it was cool, but you totally turned. You saw the car turn into CGI and then not turn into CGI. Yeah, that's what, it, it's like shit mixed with legitimately good shots. Like, I felt like the cinematographer. What do you mean nice moves? You drove into a fucking tree that was across on the ground and flipped your own vehicle. What do you mean nice moves? He set up a fucking wire. You could have drove into the fucking wire. He ran the other way. He didn't even know that goddamn tree was there. And you just happened to hit it. Like I did like and he that. He killed him with the vehicle. He rolled the vehicle. Oh, would you look at that? They looked in. They looked in the building. I would have never guessed. I she told to you. Did I tell you there was going to be a lot of shit that pissed you off? Yeah. This is where the movie falls apart for me. We are. Uh, You're telling me this is a good scene. This is a good scene. No, no. I was saying there were parts of the scene. You I said was. this was a sweet action scene. No, no. I meant. Didn't even punch anybody. I, no, no, I was talking about the the cars going off and stuff when he, like, turns around and shoots it. Oh, what is up, Senate? Oh, now you want the woman? Yeah, that's the other confusing part. You left her on a train, and now he's, like... It doesn't make sense. The whole fucking... I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera, folks, but it's pissing me off because the this whole fucking... We're getting to the climax, and it, it makes no goddamn fucking sense. Hey, the Senate, what's up? Can Zod read after all this time? Yes, I can. Sup? But no, uh, we're watching the worst Daniel Craig, James Bond, No Time to Die. Welcome. Uh, if you want to sail the high seas and catch the ending of the shit show with us, click the link. Ignore the virus prompts. And now, you see what they're trying to do now? They're trying to make her have a soft side after being a cunt this whole fucking movie. And I see what you're doing, movie. Oh, we're fine. It's just like, oh. Uh, now I'm not going to kill her because... I didn't know she had a daughter. Fuck you. She uh, she went there to fucking specifically kill that chick. And then because she has a daughter, all of a sudden she changed her mind. I don't buy it. This is the shittiest fucking writing ever. And she is the worst fucking character in a James Bond mean? movie. She I've went there to kill movie. she went there to kill Rami Malik. No, she was also going to kill the girl. That's why she said, I didn't know she had a daughter. She was going to fucking kill her until she talking found about. out she had a daughter. Hmm? Since when? What are you talking about? Nobody ever said that she was no. going there to kill the white chick. No, no. M sent her with the directive to kill Remy Malik and the, the other girl because they were both. Well, I don't remember plot. hearing any of that. Oh, yeah, you gotta go back, dude, because then she said, I'm sorry, I didn't know she had a daughter. Oh, 
Oh, uh, the Senate says the cringe fake redemption trash. Yes, I agree. And thank you for joining this watch along with us, folks. Smart one. What well, that was smart the one. How about you just download the app for my fucking nanobots? Yeah, right? He still has nanobots. And I'm like, none of this. This is where it goes off the rails. It does not make sense at all. They created the Hercules thing, right? You got fucking so nanobots, but you got to add another thing into my fucking blood. Well, I mean, at least you have to shoot the black chick. <laughs> like, this is just like... And, and the thing that pisses me off is Remy Malik is so good. Like, he could be a great villain, but they, they hide him in the shadows for half this fucking movie. And... They don't make his, like, we're going to find out why he's going after Spectre. But they don't, like, like in Skyfall, when they had, what's his name as the main villain? He was throughout the whole movie. Remy Malik was in the beginning and this part. It's, it's, it's so fucking confusing and weird. Like, why? I don't know. I don't think anything's going to save this one. And no, definitely not. Definitely not. And I'm going to tell you my fucking rating when we get to it. I, this movie pisses me off so that I finally know how you feel when you find small inconsistencies because it's just like they broke the lore. And for what? Not to make something really great. Dude, that kid is definitely like Bob. Like, she didn't say he was a father. But, dude, that's like one of the mysteries where it's like, come on. She's got still blue eyes. She's adorable. That That's that's James's kid. Like, you take that into court, they're going to be like, yes, Mr. Vaughn, you owe fucking child support. That, you are the father. You are the father. <laughs> take that shit out, Murray. Where are you going to tell you, Bob? You fucking owe. This is why I don't like James Bond films taking place in modernish day. No, they were good up to this point. Spectre was fine. Uh, I actually liked it on the rewatch. I don't know why I didn't like it the first time I was in the pissy mood. This is just terrible, uh, Senate. This is like really a prime example. Yeah, he said shit like nano whatever. It the fuck needs to fuck off. Yeah, I agree. The, it, like fucking nanobots. Come on. I'd buy zombie virus. Like a giant freaking uh, satellite in space that creates a mega laser weapon is way more believable than nanobots. Or uh, in uh, Goldfinger where he had the laser and he just wanted to uh, rob Fort Knox. That was cool. Agreed. This is just like Dude, he'd be a terrible father. Yeah, put your hand on the stove. <laughs> Dude, and like Remy Malik would be the perfect villain. He's so creepy. He's got that slow dialogue. Oh, I'm sure that's going to end well for you, guy. Try stealing Bond, baby. Oh, yeah. You can't steal Bond, baby. She was trained at birth to shoot a fucking Walter PPK. <laughs> nah, math is so much as knowing when... The cutoff is, but I would subtract one from eight, 1981, which was pretty impressive. Yeah, 
Now, see, that's cool. I like that yeah, little, like, cool. uh, and uh, those are an actual thing. True story. You're welcome, people who don't know. You have to be watching the scene I'm talking about, but those two fire jet bomb things, I don't know what the fuck they're called, but they exist. Also a submarine? Yes. Yeah, baby. And the thing that's cool is that this is actual technology that it's like Air Force and military joint project, but you know. Welcome to the rock. <laughs> oh God. We definitely should do a watch along for that movie because it's one of the greatest movies of all time. It has two of the best actors of all time, Nick Cage and Sean Connery. It will might never be the get best a Bond like movie. That. Huh? It might be the best Bond movie. Oh yeah. It, it's that I I definitely would say that's canon to the Bond universe. That's like Bond uh after he retired and got sold out by the government and caught for all the shit he did. Bingo. Boom. Yep. Sean Connery locked up. Hold on, be then... quiet for a second. Dude, that music sounded like music from The Rock. Maybe like it when just he's sounded going like that from uh, we're station to station. Oh, it's so good. Such a good movie. Definitely let us know in the comments below if you want us to watch The Rock and share a link. If you, if you smell what we're cooking. Like, that's my other pro So here's another problem. Right? Why is this toxic? Like, they entered everything okay, so is it everything around the facility is toxic? Is the hallway toxic? I don't understand. Right, and like the picture doesn't really show you what's going on at all. No. It's a bunch of confusing, like, gobbledygook nonsense. With a bunch of cool visuals. That's the toxic stuff? I'm gathering it has to be. Like her like, thighs. <laughs> uh, J.D. Davis says if Connery's bond, uh, if Connery is Bond in The Rock, he wouldn't he wouldn't have escaped from the prison they pulled him from. How do you escape from the rock? That's the whole point. He would have because laser watch. Dude, you read that wrong. It says, if Connery is bond in the rock, he would have, would oh. have Escape oh, oh. from the prison they pulled him from. Well, I'm like four Budweiser's in, so. I don't give a shit. Not Bud Light, because apparently that's gay. Uh, Budweiser. <laughs> Dude, more fucking glass. He's like, you, you come back. You my friend. Dude, that was unnecessary. He's just the scientist guy. Like, do we have to kick him? He was the going desk? for the alarm. He needed to be kicked twice. He's an anus face. <laughs> Maybe they move him around because he escapes after a year or something like that. That could be true, Janie. We're creating our own actual awesome Bond lore. That this movie just destroyed in one movie. 
you will never leave this island alive. I like how you lose Russian accent. Like, he have it a little bit, and then he lose it. I'm confused. Is he Russian? Is he not? I don't know. We have big plans. Big plan. I drink vodka. We make fires and fall off drunk. Who knows what happened? America may find it. I don't know. I don't know. It's like goodbye, Janie. Oh, uh, goodbye, Janie. Thank you for hanging with us. We'll go from five to four people, but we still love you, Janie. No, I don't. You have something of mine. My fucking time, you bastards. Dude. The thing that fits, Daniel Craig is still so good in this fucking role. It's like he is given more than this movie deserves. Yeah, he's James Bond. I'm glad you're still here, Christine. I'm glad you're still here, Christine, because we're almost done. Dude, where, that, are at, where, where are we at in the movie now? We are at 205, 56, 57. Like 35 minutes left. Drink. Christine Norway was in the movie. Did you did you hear us talking about Norway being in the movie? Yeah, the little uh bridge thingy and what's the name uh, of the fancy road that runs next to the ocean? She knows the name of it. Shit, she, she knows the name of it in more than one language. That's what I said. Throw it in his good eye. He is a... I mean, do people keep forgetting that she is also a fucking spy? Yeah, apparently. It's like she was trained to, and she is the daughter of the second what's that, in command. What's that, mean in, uh, what's that mean in English, Christine? And welcome, six people watching. We are watching the epic conclusion to the worst James Bond in the whole entire franchise. Welcome. It's, 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 it's oh my god. Oh, I wish I could just score it on exclusively what happens on the screen. And even then, it's definitely the worst of it. It's Bond. <laughs> Dude, that is quite a kill box, though. I'll it's give them that. Christine, what's the road called in English? We need subtitles. The Atlantic Ocean Road? Or is it supposed to say Chen? Because I don't think it's supposed to say Chen. Because I don't think that makes any sense to me. What the hell does that mean? Ah, I get it, Christine.
I mean, that seems like a reasonable trade. Sure. It's the Atlantic Ocean Road lemon pot. So this is some tiny island off the coast of Japan? Apparently. Well, I'm just making sure I had that part right. That fucking polar bear. Why? You you put her on a bus. Like, just fucking leave Mala there. She'd want the fucking kid to live. Like, what the fuck is... I, I don't know, like... I don't understand, first of all, why the bad guy needs her. And, and I also don't understand why it's so important that James gets her back. The last five years seems like it was going pretty well. You see what I'm it's saying, not, it's, it's not like they cut to him on his little James Bond island, and he was like, well, maybe I'll hang myself tomorrow. Wasn't impressed at all. He was fishing. He let his abs go a little bit. He missed like a day of abs. Like, this is what I'm saying, PB. It all falls apart. It doesn't make any sense. I gotta kill everybody in this room. Uh, below us? Like, Why and that's he... the other thing. How did she get to that part of the fucking... If he's that good of a shot, why didn't he shoot this fucking guy right in the head? He could have shot that guy. He'd just, you know, he'd be a corpse holding a kid. That's easy enough to get a kid back from. Him. 
And that doesn't make so he kidnapped the kid to let the kid go. You see what I'm saying? Ah, it's so did. fucking. He let the fucking the kid he was holding hostage just go after she bit him. It's not because she's double O seven and a half. Oh, he's dead. See? Oh, What's gosh. in that water? It melted the dude. What are they wearing where they're not melting? It doesn't make sense. They're maybe. wearing some type of fucking super duper hazmat suit. I don't fucking know. If that water can do that, how are there people? And what are they trying to get? Are they trying to get the acid? Nah. I don't understand. Ah. <clears throat> oh. Like if he was their bargain. Like why? Fucking set. Oh. So she just outright. I mean, I guess she picked up where the previous 007 left off with the just killing people. At least they got that right. I'll, I'll give them a point back for. Yeah, keeping except that he, consistent. except he had already learned not to kill people. And that was the whole point: was that they were prequel movies, and he was still learning the ropes of being a double O agent. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, PB. You see my, you feel my frustration. I told you this is worse than John Wick because John Wick just had one small problem you could fix and make the whole movie better. This is just has it's eerie. And she bastardized the fucking title of the movie for a quick fucking line. Time to die. Yep. This is no time to die. Like, uh, they do everything wrong in filmmaking. They even do that joke where they're like, oh, they said the name. And, like, the thing that pisses me off is, like, veteran mm -hmm. actors, they're really trying, mm -hmm. PB. They're trying. Mm -hmm. they're, they're acting. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I haven't seen anything that wouldn't make me believe that the character is who they are. Yeah, like that's the what I'm saying. Hasn't like, been poor. The acting hasn't been poor. That's what frustrates me the most about this movie. Is that if you take all of this small shit out, it, it, it'd be fitting. But, oh... He's going to drive out on a boat. What happened to the submarine? Oh, it was a one-time use kind of thing. It self-destructs. They don't explain it in the movie, but I know from... You know from the comic? No, from real-life experience. Like, oh. where did this love come from, PB? He put her on the train! How is he back in love? It's like the script fucking skipped the moment where we get this payoff. You see what I'm saying, though? You see? Why is he kissing her? In the beginning, he fucking sent her on a train and said, Bye, Felicia. Like, ah. oh, this movie is so fucking infuriating. It's like, yeah, she's none of this. 
None of this shit is earned. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. We did. We skipped the scene where he built the trust, and he and he understands where she's did coming we, from. Did he kill? Did we kill the bad guy yet? The bad guy's still out there walking around, or what? I'm so confused. Did I miss that? Yeah, yeah. He, he he's still he's still fucking about. That's why he stayed. He's going after the bad guy. Oh. And because trust me, PB, you haven't seen the most ridiculous part yet. And like Daniel is trying so hard in this movie. Like he's like nine minutes. Shit, they give me like three or two minutes in most movies. Nine is like a fucking vacation. Right? Nine is like, holy shit, how do we extend the runtime? Yeah. That's what this feels like. There's so many scenes. Oh, what they the fuck? Is it acid? It's got to be acid. It, it's got to be because the person fucking evaporated. Then what the fuck are these light things in it? Oh, more shattered glass. I heard it. I swear to God. In every single one of these movies, at any moment, Stone Cold could have walked out because, you know. Because that's the bottom line. No, because the glass shattered. Oh, I get it. Oh, shit. That's actually a great... Oh. <laughs> that's now, pretty see? funny. Yeah, you got That's a clever scene point. like that in a bunch of shit. It feels like different people wrote this script. It does. Sometimes it does seem like they had people be like, "Okay, hey, you write this scene. You write this scene. We just need, you know, these characters to be in it. Figure it out." Because it's so, it's so strange. That's, that's what I'm saying. You could tell. And they said they were they, Or script. they had so many fuck, or they had multiple directors, which I don't think they did. Oh, they had Phoebe Waller-Bridge. They had some other person. They had the original director, but he dropped out after studio it's interference, like, which I can see that. I wish... For I, want, I think it's the Mandalorian. They got three writers, don't they? Yep. Or three Sometimes directors. More. I mean, directors. Yep. Like I wish that they would all work together on one episode, so it's not like when you hear who the director is going to be, you think, "Oh, shit's going to be blowing up the entire time." And then when you hear the other person's name, it's like, well, we're going to be doing lots of talking. Not a whole lot of shooting. But if they'd work together, I feel like we like every episode would be incredibly similar. Instead oh, yeah. of being incredibly different. And that's, uh, and that's a good point, because that's what this movie feels like. Like, there were so many people, and they tried to put everybody's idea in it. No, like it's, no, it's that the, I think you misunderstand what I'm saying, then. Oh, that was good. I'm talking yeah, about but... the fact that all of the people, like, having so many people is not a problem if they're all working together. I think they were all working separately, which means all of their ideas made it in. Because one person did this scene, next person did that scene, next person did that scene. 
So it's like, well, I'm not doing this thing, so I don't have to have any ideas about it, but I'm going to do this one my way. You think that's uh, what happened with James Wan? I'm saying that's what it feels like. I don't know how many directors they had on it, but that's what it feels like. That, I actually agree with that point. It, it's just so weird and confusing and... Sorry, huh. Q, but your long-winded explanations. Of... Yeah, your long-winded explanation of exactly what I was doing. That's what it was. It was more. Of, it was more play-by-play -play commentary at that point. Yep. Oh, that is a there we go. That's a big ship. That's a big dude, missile. Holy shit. Dude, I've been on the deck with those uh, missiles firing off. It's like fucking rumbling under your feet. It, it's amazing. It's probably a bad sign, hey? Yeah, that... That's a really bad sign. It's like, where did he come from? Where was he going? Why is he here now? Nobody knows. Where was he hiding? How did the how did the child get away from him? And what button did he But you see what I'm saying, right? Like What I don't know why is he not shoot? Shoot. Have you not watched the other James Bond movies? Like fuck, man. That's one hell of a way to break a guy's arm. In a slow and painful way. Holy shit balls. What? So they're not going to explain it, but the vial he had was his blood with the nanobots. So now he's poisoned with the same shit that got Blowfield. Well, but that's not, that's not how the nanobots work. He said it to kill the lady. So if Bond goes back to her or the daughter, he'll kill them. So basically, he made it so he could never be with them again. Now, can't you just change who it's supposed to kill? That's the whole point of what happened at the beginning of the movie. Was that you get yeah. to determine who they kill? Yeah, so he set that one so that it will kill the daughter... And no, the whole point of the beginning of the movie was that the nanobots were set to kill a group of people, and then they killed the other group of people. 
That was the whole point. Yeah, but he reprogrammed them, so they killed I'm Spectre. I'm saying they can be reprogrammed again. Yeah, he reprogrammed them again, basically. But... No, I'm saying they can be reprogrammed again. Well, no, because he's the only one, apparently, who knows how to do it. I ah, let's see now. Bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah, that's Lose, what I'm saying. It's bullshit. Losing more points. The it, whole it, point it's... was that these things are programmable. And now they're reprogrammable. And if they're reprogrammable, that means they're fucking reprogrammable. Which means they're exactly. like, oh, well, we'll just turn them off. Exactly. You, you Second see what point, I'm saying. if they're fucking, hold on. If they're like, if they're a mechanical thing, can't you just EMP these fucking things and then they'll all be dead inside you, in, in you? And then, you know, you just like sweat them out? No, because then the movie wouldn't be able to happen, Phoebe. That would be logic. Holy shit. No, they're in the blood, and the blood protects them. I don't fucking know. They don't explain it. They don't explain it. They don't explain what? what the fucking rules are. Because everything we said makes fucking sense. You can get a blood transfusion. There's so many ways. But he's bleeding out anyways. And now they made a ridiculous contrived plot. You're not stupid, Q. And this makes this extremely fucking irritating. Dude, did you see how that boat was parked? Totally lady driver. Nope. Wait, now she's also in, she's all, that, fuck this shit, man. What the fuck? Everybody's always in love with every, like, it never ended, but they hated each other, and then nothing changed, and then they randomly didn't hate each other. Fuck, man. It's, and this makes, this would be a great acted so moment. So bad. It, this would if be I a great. If I gave a shit. Yeah, if you gave a shit, but you can't, because this plot is so fucking stupid. Because, like, this is such great acting, wrapped in shit. Yep, and the movie started by going, I still love you, Vesper. <laughs> like, sure, I, I totally believe you, James, totally believe you. Yeah, death. Yeah, it's the bombs that are coming towards the island. This is such no, a No, the bad whole point problem. is right now is the time to be an asshole so that she hates you before you die, and then when she moves on, she can actually move on with someone she loves. And she's not constantly like, ah, remember your dad? He was great. This new guy, he's just okay. You gotta compete with James Bond for the rest of your fucking life, man. I don't want to compete with that. Like, I got blue eyes, but they ain't that blue. And he died for his country and everything. It's just like, the next Did guy he? Like, are we gonna see? Are we gonna see this fireball engulf him? Because I feel like we're not. No, we are. They fucking definitively, because Craig said... No, no, no. 
I want to know if we're going to see him die. Oh, we are. Okay, well, I haven't seen it yet, and I'll let you know if I do. Here, Here it comes. Bombs are falling, PB. You ready for the most bullshit ever? This is the shit that brings it down. They're breaking off. They're not even going to do it. And they thought this was going to be emotional. Bam, bam, and bam. Confirmation. The fucking bomb hits it. This feels so disrespectful. I can't even put it to words. And, and that's the biggest thing that pissed me off. There's like no doubt. You saw it. A fucking missile hit him. He was engulfed flames. He's fucking dead. Yeah, he's they definitely got to be dead. They killed him in the most disrespectful fucking way. I've ever seen a main character killed. And, and the worst part is, they're trying to make us feel bad. I mean, like, like, got the music. All, all this is, well, all, okay, yeah, whatever. They're playing the most of the music. I don't really give a shit. All this is telling me is that Rogue should have killed herself years ago. Because she can't touch nobody. <laughs> It's like live in a fucking bubble, guy. Oh my god. Back in London. Thank you, PB. Because uh, in case you guys Fuck. have been following, we don't have subtitles. I got Not subtitles on my version. No, I got no it too. You mean title cards. There are no title, title cards. cards. There's no title card. There's no placement. Why are you to... in the room? 007 you gave him shit the whole fucking movie you bonded with him for like three fucking seconds oh i wanna oh i fucking hate maria rambo oh fuck you you're the worst rambo okay it's like now you people give a shit nobody fucking cared for what, five five years q did Q did and Money Penny. Okay, I was wrong. Money Penny Q cared. Robert Fines is cool. He gets a pass. But the rest of them, it, it, it was like that one bald headed dude worked with him briefly, and I, I think they only spoke when he was like doing other shit. Fucking. And here's the most insulting line ever. That road looks familiar. Dude, we're going to have to do the short version of the review because I got to piss real bad. James Bond. Fuck me. Okay. I... Yeah, uh, so, what, right the, yeah, so the Daniel Craig movies are supposed to be like bookends on every single Bond movie out there? Yep. I don't get it. Yep. A and you saw where I was going. with If they stopped at Spectre and we had this God, problem with John Wick. If, if they stopped at Spectre, it'd be the perfect ending. We could assume he ran away with the chick. He got over Vespa. He got all of fucking Spectre with Blofeld. It, it, it would have been perfect. This movie, just one movie, single-handedly ruined every fucking Daniel Craig movie that they did. I'm giving this piece of shit a three. So what's your review, PB? <laughs> like, oh my god, talk about... This is worse than John Wick. Because to take somebody and build them up so much and build them up so much and then, like you said, yeah, he's not relegated in the movie. Like, he's still the main character. But, like, what is the full... Is 007 in the title? Yes. Of the movie? Yes. Okay, well, that's confusing because, like, are they talking... Does that mean that the black chick is part of the title character because it says James Bond 007. Like that, not, nothing about it makes sense. And then well, there's so there's so many problems in the movie of like, uh, I just seen how this worked and now it don't work that way anymore. So maybe pick a lane and stay in it. I don't fucking know. 
yeah, like... Oh, the... it's so... It is so dis... I don't know if it's quite as disappointing as John Wick 4 was. John Wick 4 I was, was disappointing John, because... Because I was like, good. Like, number one, I was like, oh, that was really good. And uh, number two, I was like, oh... That was fucking great. And then I got to number three. I was like, this is fucking amazing. Like, the trajectory was going up so fast. I was like, four is going to be, oh, four is going to be the fucking bee's knees, bitches. And then it was just bitches. (laughs) Whereas this one, I would say this one being that it's James Bond, like, you're already, you're starting up there. Like, I don't know nothing about John Wick. Nobody knew anything about John Wick before John Wick was a thing. Like, watching the first Daniel Craig James Bond, it's like, well, it's a it's a Bond film, so I know what I'm getting out of it. I understand the concept of him being the super spy and going about his business to save the proverbial day. Now, we might not know where he's saving the day, because holy <laughs> shit. But he's saving the day. I give it, oh, God, I give it a four. I can't believe we agree on the same rating. Wow. I would have, I probably would have gave it a three if there wasn't the Paloma scene. That was freaking, that was the best scene in the movie. That's, you were right. That was the saving scene. That section, like, that section, best part of the whole movie. If you don't have Paloma in there, it's like a three or a two. But She was fucking hilarious. And I've been training what, for three weeks. And that's what pisses me off because I feel like I still would have hated the breaking of the lore and stuff. But if you had Arma the Armis as the 007, I think it would have cushioned the blow better because she, she was likable. She had charisma. Like, I could see her as a 007. But you tell me fucking... Uh, I'm just gonna call her Maria Rambo because I can't fucking remember her name. You're telling me that she is the fucking 007 and she's just shitting all over the lore. Uh, she's terrible at her job. Right. She lost she, the target. She, she isn't doing stuff to shit on the lore. She shits on the lore by existing. Yes, that's a yes. That that's sucks. a great point. She is terrible by extension because there's nothing to, it would have been any any actress that you put there, even if you put Paloma there, it's still destroy it's it's a lore destroyer. Yeah. Like because... if the movie didn't look as good as it did, and the people who are in the movie didn't play their characters as well as they did, it probably would be sitting around like a two fuck it could potentially be a one. But with the people that you put into the film, because, I mean, I don't know what they were going for, but I know what she came off as. Like, uh, I'm a way better double O agent than you could ever be, James Bond. Like, yeah. that's how it starts. And then she sees how he, like, handles himself. And I don't know, by the end of it, I don't know if they're friends, but they're definitely well on their way to getting along. Like, I assume they wouldn't have a problem running into each other on some other mission in the future, but there will be no future missions. And, like, now what? Because they fucking kill him! If they make another Bond movie, are they going to move on with female Bond? And that now that's what it's going to be? That we've, like, just... No, uh, there was a big fucking riot after this, and apparently they're moving... They said they're moving away from that direction. Back, and they're going to completely disregard that this film exists so that we can continue on with the lore that we've had the entire time that James Bond has existed. I'm hoping. It doesn't really matter because the movie exists, and now I know that it's out there, and I know what they did. Yeah, and that's my issue. If they make, (laughs) no, I'm saying if they make more movies, now we, we have bookends. We have bookends. Every movie that's going to be made from now on has to happen in between. And then it also has to line up with this chick being dead or this chick not being dead. That chick being dead or that chick not being dead. So, like, you could potentially see someone who died in a movie in a film 
because it would be a prequel because apparently we can do that with James Bond now because he was the first one that ever did that. I don't know. This movie pisses me off way more than it should have and we've been doing this for over fucking three hours and ten minutes so I don't have anything more to say. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this movie is shit. We both agree. We both gave it a four. Uh, it's it's kind of crazy. It's, Only a four for how good it looks, pretty much. I mean, that's like yeah, the same and... reason why uh, the Last Jedi got a four as well. So this is at the last. This is at Last Jedi levels. Although, like, the reason Last Jedi is more upsetting is because I'm a bigger fan of Star Wars than James Bond for one, and they destroy multiple pieces of lore in that. And, and for me, like, it's you, upsetting to me Ryan because Johnson. unlike PB, which which is fine, I've been a James Bond fan since I was a fucking kid. But PB gets it because it's the same. He sees the same connection as with Star Wars, I've right? I've been a James Only. Bond fan since I was a kid. I just am not into James Bond as much as I'm into Star Wars. See, I'm into James Bond as much as, as uh, yeah. I bet I bet you would. I bet you would be into James Bond as much as you could be. Hey, you know there have been some good. You can't make a baby that way. <laughs> Anyways, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, we will finally do our tier list uh, actually tomorrow because God, hopefully uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, but we're we're going to try to do the tier list for all of the James Bond films that we've watched, and we'll rank them and then talk about our reasons for the Jamie ranking. made it back just for the end. And, and I have to say, I I feel like our ranks are going to be fucking pretty similar <laughs> because of how we've rated these movies. I feel like our our uh, our tier list might be similar and this is the rare case where this is gonna have like a few top middle maybe and then one just at the there's only bottom. five of them guy yeah it, it it's just it's just kind of funny i'm picturing the fucking pyramid in my head but anyways uh thank you everybody for watching uh, if you want to re-watch this stream and watch James Bond, click the pin link in the comments in the in the uh, comment section on YouTube to go and sail the high season. Right, because that, link, that link should always be available. Yes, and unlike me, you'll save nineteen ninety nine. God damn it! I can't get a fucking refund. I can't get a goddamn refund for this movie. Nope. <laughs> this movie is on my fucking system forever. Fuck you, you can, Amazon. You can delete it. Fuck you. <laughs> this fucking movie is on there forever. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah, I agree. Maybe this will be the next thing I drag PB along with if it's on Netflix. Fred and Angel had sold her soul and consumed and annihilated uh, so she could be in the afterlife. Yeah, uh, that's from uh, well, that, Angel. We're going to be in the afterlife of this stream. Uh, anyways, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, stay tuned. We got some more content coming up. Uh, Jesus Christ. Remember, there's only one rule here in the Phantom Zone. Apparently so they fun. like to destroy James Bond lore. Bricks. Assholes.